Hello, this is Lucas with N2B Solutions, and today we are going to look at how to customize your new video phone um, with a tool at Grand Stream Supplies. The uh, phone my uh, associate here is holding is a Grand Stream 3275 video phone. There is a tool given to us by Grand Stream that we can use to set up these screens. Right now you can see I've got it as the default settings and we are going to push a configuration to it that will change all of these buttons. You can change if you have an apps button or not. You can uh, set it up to whether it has a dial button or not. And all of these can be configured differently um, with, with, the, uh, with the config file. So let's take a look. On my screen you're going to see um, this, uh, this config tool, GUI config tool. To get this tool, um, what you need to do is open a browser. If I can open a browser, and I can't open a browser because I've got a thing open. But I can't, uh, there we go. There it's gone. All right. There we go. Go to grandstream.com and at the top you will see support and you will see under support tools if you scroll down you will see a GUI customization tool this is what you want to click on and download. Once you download this, you will have uh, the, the folder I just showed you. And you extract all the information that comes out like this. So then you double click on the GUI config tool and you can pick which Android based phone that you have. All of these are Android based phones. Um, and all of them can be configured with this tool. In this case, we have the GXV3275. Once I click on it, all the tabs at the top here have all the possible settings you could mess with. Um, for now, we're not going to mess with a lot just to show you that it can be done. To figure it out in the end, you just need to play with it and learn it. You can uh, remove buttons that you don't want them to have available. Um, for example, I will remove diagnosis. And so when we get to the phone, we're going to see that diagnosis isn't going to be there and it currently is there. So we're going to go over to contact settings and you can uh, mess with uh, exporting, importing, LDAP, stuff like that. I haven't done that one yet, but the layout, um, you, it comes default with four screens and you can customize each individual screen and set which one you want to be the home screen. In this case, I'm going to delete them all and set my one as the home page. So now this screen is my home page. I'm also going to take these keys right here and I'm going to say I don't want them. I only want one. Just the phone key. And then we're going to go to screen settings. I'm going to change the background. Let's go with the desert. And well, that's just the page. We're going to go to screen saver. I'm going to turn the screen saver off because I don't like it. And language, we can change the language. We can set the taskbar, what we want it to look like, what's on it. We can uh, change different widget settings. In the end, I bet these, uh, these two right here are the ones you'll use the most, the background and what buttons you want. Now on this screen, you can also say, I want the gallery button to be on my screen. So we're going to drag that out there. We're going to say I want the music one to be out there and the file manager. You can also select widgets by switching to add widget and we're going to say we want the clock to be out there. So that's what our screen is going to look like. So now I go to file and save or save as um, 
I want to save it in the folder that it has the config tool in. So I'm in the same folder that my config tool is in. And it's a cust file, it's a USD file. So when I save it, if I want, I can go and look and see that now I have this file in that folder, the same folder that I launched my, my tool from. And it tells me where it's been saved. Now I have to I have to host this file from somewhere. So in this case, I'm going to host it from my own computer. I'm going to turn my computer into a little server. This little white circle button, open HTTPD, is how you do it. You can also hit server and hit open HTTPD or hit control T. Any way you do it, it, uh, it opens a uh, window that tells you all the possible IP addresses that your computer could have. In this case, this one is mine. And I uh, already opened a window to show that that is my IP address, 12.54. Um, I also pinged my phone to make sure I could reach it, which is on 11.56 here, and it reached it just fine. So I know that my phone is reachable, and I know that, uh, that uh, this server is set up and, and running. So I know my server is running. I'm going to open a browser and I'm going to go back to my phone, which I've already logged into. Now, it may have been a while. I'm going to make sure I can move around. Yep. Ah, there we go. So you log into your phone from the web interface. The IP address should be on your phone. Should have gotten a DHCP address. And you can see it's 172.30.11.56. I've already pulled it up, logged into it. I'm going into maintenance and upgrade. In here, you have your firmware. This is where you'd update your firmware. A config file. This is a config file that would push like SIP settings and credentials, stuff like that. But it'll also let you do a cust file, which is what we have. And where is it located? It's located on my computer. 12. 54. So I type that in, download it with HTTP, with the IP address of my computer, and I save. Now, I also like to reboot because it's told to check for new files on reboot, so we're going to do that. And while that's rebooting, I'm going to pause this video because it's going to tell me right here when the phone grabs the file. And it can take anywhere from two minutes. I've seen it take as long as 10 minutes. So we're going to pause this and I'll come right back as soon as it grabs the file and show you what it's done. All right, we are back and you can see on the square here, uh, one terminal request for the cust file. Server has received the request and sent out the file. So once the file gets there, it takes a minute or so and the, the phone will reboot and it will come up looking like this. Um, it starts with the setup wizard, which you can swipe away. You can hit the setup wizard if you want, but you don't have to. You can see the three buttons we added with the one phone at the time. And if we go, if we were able to, we could go into the, the apps, but we can't actually get in there because we removed the apps button. But if we got in there, you'd see the diagnosis part one is gone. Um, you can still get to the system settings by using the lines and see how to do things, including factory reset and all that still works and that will set it back to normal but you can see that it got the uh, the cust file and, and that was that so get rid of this here the other thing to note is that if you want to make multiple files you have to you can't name them differently they have to still be named GXV 3275 CUST. Um, if you want a different file for a different phone, you would come into this folder and you would create another another folder um, rather than another file. And this one would be Bob, you know, because it's Bob's phone. And so we take the file we made for Bob and we put it in his folder instead of in the main folder here. And then when we log into the phone, If 
if I can. Oh. Gotta refresh it here. Oh, the phone rebooted again when I factory reset it. My bad. So when you log into the phone, rather than putting a uh, rather than putting a um, IP address alone, you put the IP address slash the folder name, and it will grab whichever file you put in each folder. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you next time.